Hello, and thank you for attending my senior recital. Tonight's concert will feature many works that are approachable to the developing saxophonist, which I've programmed here to prepare me to teach future students. The piece you just heard was Janine Rueff's Chanson et Passepied, written in 1951. Rueff was a French composer who studied at the Paris Conservatory and was later employed by the conservatory as a professor of solfege and harmony. The work is of two separate genres, chanson and passepied, with the chanson represented in the lyrical section and the passepied being a French 16th to 18th century court dance. Next on the program will be English composer Rafe von Williams' Six Studies in English Folk Song. Originally written for cello and piano in 1926, but here arranged for alto saxophone and piano, this work features English folk melodies which Vaughan Williams transcribed from performers of the English countryside. Here is Rafe Vaughan Williams' Six Studies in English Folk Song.
The next work will be Alfred Reed's Ballade, originally composed for saxophone and wind band in 1955, but here for alto saxophone and piano, Reed's Ballade was written for Vincent J. Jimmy Abato, who was the first professor of saxophone at Juilliard. Ballade is a title for a one-movement piece with lyrical and dramatic narratives that mirror a song. A tapestry of lyrical lines lead to our climax in the upper palm register of the saxophone. Please enjoy Alfred Reed's Ballade.
The next piece will be William Grant Still's Romance, written in 1954. The title of Romance refers to a lyrical piece or song with a personal or tender quality for solo voice or instrument. Still was a prolific American composer and graduate of Oberlin Conservatory. Still was the first African American to conduct a major American symphony orchestra, the first to have a symphony performed by a leading orchestra, the first to have an opera performed by a major opera company, and the first to have an opera performed on national television. The piece features a blend of African American folk tradition and melodic content with the harmony and form of the Western romance. Here is William Grant Still's Romance.
The next work will be French composer Eugène Bota's aria. Bota was a professor at the Conservatory École Nationale in Paris. Written in 1936, aria takes inspiration from the works of J.S. Bach, particularly his Goldberg variations for keyboard, with an emphasis on melody and structure. Bota is known for technically demanding writing for wind instruments, making aria unique in his canon. I'm happy to present Bota's aria.
The last piece on the program this evening will be French composer Paulo Maurice's Tableau de Provence. Tableau, Tableau de Provence is a five movement work meant to depict the region of Provence in southern France. The piece was written for French saxophonist Marcel Mule, who was the professor of saxophone at the Paris Conservatory and is known as the father of French and classical saxophone. Maurice wrote the piece after vacationing in Provence with her husband, as well as Mule and his wife. Thank you for attending my senior recital. Thank you to Roger Bethard for his beautiful performance alongside me on piano. A special thanks to my teachers of classical saxophone throughout the years, Professor David Hastings, Dr. Michael Schultz, and Dr. Alistair Wright. Your faith in me as a student has helped me push through personal and performance obstacles and gives me hope that someday I can be a teacher worthy of being your peer. In addition, I would like to thank my family and friends, especially my parents Chris and Victoria Vigut, for their continued support of my career in music. Please enjoy Paula Maurice's Tableau de Provence.